second. And we're back. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. We did run a little over five minutes. Doggy needed his little walk, um, as doggies do. And, and he's uh, a very good doggy. He's a very good doggy. <laughs> and, uh, and I believe we were just about to... Um, we're Thanks just to about our blue coat greeting. Yeah, exactly. I'm excited about our blue coat mm -hmm. greeting. Let's go take a look at that. So can you um so can you remind me, Hakan, this is when one blue coat meets another and Yeah, and I think this is all around the extortion. So it, it might be when blue coats meet each other generically, or it could be like any within this group right now who's in Lord Strangford's debt who's mm -hmm. really had to like buckle down on the extortion, right? It's uh, something that you say to basically ask, like, hey, how long has it been since you've done your rounds or yeah. something along those lines? I, I think part of the thing is that we're, you know, maybe not just extorting from the businesses that we used to a little bit more harshly, but if there's like any type of, you know, communal tip jar that everyone skims from, we're skimming more. Mm -hmm. We're stealing yeah. from everyone, including the other blue coats. And that's one of the reasons why we need to particularly be kind of counting the money constantly and asking each other, like, did you earn enough today? I don't know. Did you earn right, enough today? Right, right. And, and are you yeah. going to do something and, that's going to push us over the edge? Mm -hmm. yeah. Totally. So I definite, yeah, I, I definitely like the, the, the thing that Hakan said of, you know, did you hit up that, that business today? Because we know that we have to get like so many and we're all just, um, or at least you all, I don't, I'm healing people, <laughs> uh, are trying to uh, get money. Yeah. I think it makes sense to be then from within our group. So it's not like mm -hmm. something that would be widely understood within other blue coats. Mm -hmm. so if we mm -hmm. ask this of each other, like in the presence of our watch commander, it should. Right, right. So Hakan, you mentioned something kind of just in passing about doing our rounds. And I think that that would be a really appropriate place to start because it sounds like, have you done your job patrolling for crime and things like that? <laughs> for, for crime and general battery. Yeah. How, 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 how long has it been since you've enforced justice? <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, something something that would be completely innocuous that that a date response would be like appropriate for. I think is is oh oh so you'd get a specific response where the where it would be like um uh you'd get a specific spot response would be like yesterday or two days ago um mm -hmm. okay I, I think like something it. like that could be cool yeah. um so yeah, so like definitely mm -hmm. so like something around oh go ahead I was just thinking there's definitely things that have to be done on certain dates like turning in papers and things like that so it could be like a call for something that would normally have a date attached to it anyway. Mm -hmm. That's true. The other thing I'd want to say is that, like, if we're actually, like, we want to make sure that we can say this among um, ourselves and really have it completely fly under the radar, it should be something that, like, seems benign or irrelevant enough that, like, the watch commander would never ask. It would be like, what rounds exactly? Or, you know, like, so who did you find on your, you know? Could, could it be, sorry, no. could it be something like... um uh, if you're asking for, so you're asking for a date, could it be something about the particular neighborhood that you're inquiring about? Did you see something there? But then we're kind of moving away from it being a greeting then. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, it, mm -hmm. this is probably like just something that is like, if you're just passing by and you need to know real quick, like, right. This, okay. This would probably be, so it's taking greeting a little loosely, but mm -hmm. uh, no, I, you know, yeah, I love, I love the premise. Yeah. Um, totally. So what I was kind of thinking of, I like the idea that this is like something so insignificant and trivial, right? Like filing papers or something like that. Even mm -hmm. just like, you know, pressing your coat or like getting your coat cleaned or oh, something. Oh, like oh. that. How, how long has it been since like? Nice. Know, like dirty, well, because right? we got we've got blue coats, right? And we're in a really like the docks are an area if that's where we're. Uh, if that's where we're mm -hmm. working out of the docks are an area that are just like nasty. I mean, there's all like, it's, it's not a, it's a, it's a poor district and there's lots of goods that are being hauled all over the place. There's people stomping through the mud, like uh, Peaky Blinders, I think is a go-to that I go, that I, like, I imagine there's lots of people walking through muddy streets. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, c getting your, your coat cleaned totally mm -hmm. is a thing you would have to do. So yeah, it's yeah. something that also like comes to mind, just like being of the docks, like, you know, if you've like wrung the salt out of your coat, um, 
uh, something like this. Mm. Uh, um, I'm also imagining sort of like a, a constellation of words around that being salty and dockish mm -hmm. uh, at some point that could come out of that, um, just related to extortion and what we have to do, so um, sort of given that it's part of the day-to-day -day rhythm of yeah. our lives. So if, if it was, mm -hmm. and this is probably a little too on the nose, but if it was something like, how's your coat? then yeah no it, i was i was thinking that too it's just like and so you could respond and be like oh it's pretty clean it's free like and the, the yeah. thing might be like oh they're asking each other how they're doing right is kind of the immediate like thought that someone overhearing this right. might be like oh they have slang for that mm -hmm. but really it's like can i hit your businesses like is that okay yeah. like, so like, that so fine? could you say something like oh i had it pressed yesterday and that means yeah, like don't. I, I like, hit them up yesterday. Hair right. clean out. Yeah, right? like, hair clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I love this. I love this. So, is is that it? Is it? How's your coat? Is that the? Is that I, the? No, uh, and like yeah. a, a lot of variants around this too. Yes. Right? Yeah. Right. Okay. In general, referring to coat cleanliness and state of coat, coat is cleanliness. Like, how long has it been since you hit your neighborhood? Right. <gasps> it's kind of like the. It's so the, metaphorical, Hakan. It's so good. <laughs> How is your coat? That, and we'll put greeting underneath. And um, and is the response just uh, in the same way that you'd respond to whatever coded way you can describe whether or not your your places are up for grabs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I think like the most natural response, like that I would see most people doing, I think, is like. Oh yeah, it's like a little dirty stuff like that, and the the immediate like I think third party implication of that is like oh like they have slang for how they're doing like cool mm -hmm. I guess blue coats are weird. <laughs> really, this is one layer deeper than that. Yeah, right? yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, so I think if you're like oh man, it's in need of a cleaning, like mm -hmm. it, it's been a while since I since I I rinsed the salt out or whatever, then it's like yeah, go go to town. But if you're like I just oh had man, a if you. So yeah, so depending on how dirty it is, that's like how long it's been. So if you said it's 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 encrusted with salt, you're like, oh, it's, it's yeah, been too get, long since we've gotten money from that little old lady. Get needle in. He's it's it's yeah. way too salty. Oh, it's so salty. All right, we're good to go. I think that's mm -hmm. the word. So next up, we do a, we we play a scene where we use yeah, the word. So, yes. yes. Yeah, so, so next, uh, we are going to have a conversation where we'll use how's your coat um, and use this greeting um, as a part of it. And um, the scene will be prompted by the um, framing that we have at the bottom of the card, the greeting card. Uh, could you read what that is, Hakan? Yes. Meeting someone in an unexpected place. Cool. Is the, uh, is oh, the perfect. That's, I guess that would cool. fit since you wrote it to fit, but... Um, someone in uh, let's see, um, uh, JC McClure uh, is asking about can we give a brief rundown of the game? So, we are playing dialect right now. I'm gonna link it in chat uh, so you can check out more about it. But this is the <laughs> game, the scale of blades. yes, this is a game about language and how it dies. And we're playing, uh, we're playing blue coats for making our own thieves camp before we get kicked out. So, we have shoved dialect into Blades in the Dark, and we were yeah. Good. See what uh, monster baby comes out. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, <laughs> so meeting uh, in an unexpected place, is that the... Yeah, totally. So um, I would love this to be with Needle uh, and possibly some other people who are dubiously in and out of usually hitting the streets in this way normally. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so seeing someone doing an extortion run who wouldn't normally do extortion runs like before maybe the lord strength or thing might be interesting um how do we feel like what's the state of all of your characters with regards to um you know clean cleaning your coat on a regular basis um i think it's i i think uh bug is not like the instigator by any means but she's always like there to go along with it like she She'd she'd be, you know, she'd never be leading this, but she'd she'd be the backup at any at any time to go, to go for mm -hmm. a, a, some good old extortion. Yeah, I think uh, Stev would do 
sort of the minimum amounts uh, that, that gets us by, knowing that we need to get by, um, but, but is wary of, of intense tactics that we seem to be leaning towards. Mm -hmm. I think Vale uh, doesn't really do beats as much. He's trying to skim off the top in ordering supplies. Nice. Mm. Perfect. So he's trying to explain, you know, why he needs more of this, more of that, or prices have gone up. And he's charging maybe people a little bit more uh, for the usual things that he su supplies illicitly. Perfect. Yeah, price of gauze is going up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that and blood needle. I don't know. <laughs> go go um, figure. Cool. So I would love to meet Steph. I think, like, Steph and me kind of, it, like, Needle and his group kind of out uh, doing their regular round and uh, you know, maybe seeing Stev out there and this is probably an unusual occurrence, right? Like before mm -hmm. all the Lord Strangford stuff came to pass, this wasn't happening normally. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering if um, Bug would be in any of our crews, like uh, either along with Stev or with Needle. Um, it would be cool to have uh, Bug in as well. Sure. This this is a good question. Is like how many how deep do do blue coats roll together when they're out and about? Mm -hmm. I think they normally go in patrols. I think it's normally two. So it would make sense okay. for Bug to be with either Needle or Stav and us bumping into each other. Like the three of us bumping, like two of us together and a single one. Um, you know, w when they go on like hits, yes, they're much more numbers. But patrols is probably one or two. I think it's it's probably mm -hmm. your standard your standard amount to cover as much as much space that uh i would i would i i think i would be with uh stev if it makes sense and encouraging you to like maybe a bug is the one that encouraged you to to get out like that like if you want to get this stuff you're gonna have to hit the streets like like the paperwork it's never gonna get fulfilled like we're gonna have to go make this happen and so i think if it makes sense that bug was the one that kind of pulled she doesn't believe in the system she doesn't think like the blue like she doesn't think blue coats like work as a, as a yep. as a system so she's like let's go and get this done you you need some blood needle let's go get you some blood needle like i know a place we can get you some blood needle <laughs> oh. blood. Yeah, the, you want uh, a toe i can get you a toe <laughs> yeah i'll get your toe next week um <laughs> the uh so i think that needle probably just does these patrols alone right like needle is uh, everyone's expecting needle they know what needle's doing um, so yeah, I think maybe the two of you cross needle on your rounds, sure. right? And um, maybe this is like, yeah, you just haven't like Stev hasn't been out on this type of patrol, like, and this is a very distinct type of patrol. Like, yeah, yeah, I want to, I want to. Very throw, new for me. I want to. I like the what? Uh, oh, I just was saying that I, I imagine that I've been behind a desk for a long time, and that this is really like the, the first time that I'm actually going out on the streets and doing what needs to be done. Ah, uh, the fresh, really awful air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't right. breathe too yeah. deep. So yeah, we we we're we're walking down the docks, right? We we kind of turn the corner of like a dingy, sh like crumbling little shack, terrible thing. And uh, yeah, the two of you, I think, are on one side, and I'm on the other side. Yeah. I got I got mixed close. up between Braden and Stav. I'm sorry. I was thinking like, oh, this is how Bug would get. Uh, Braden out, but I was thinking Stev. So what? Uh, so I think this would more likely just be Stev and Bug, like on patrol, then rather than Bug pulling Stev along. Like Stev is not re reluctant to do regular patrols, right? Right? Is that not reluctant okay. to do regular okay. patrols? But I feel like we're doing we're doing the the extortion level yeah. <laughs> patrol. Okay. Awesome. Which awesome. Are okay, awesome. So yeah, as it as it cuts to the um, there's like. Of like a, a rain coming down, uh, like a light, like a light rain. that's just sort of perpetual, and we can see like these long strips of docks over on the, on the on our far side with stevedores hauling stuff, and um, and like up ahead there's a, a warehouse and there's like a factory people in, inside of it, and there's somebody standing outside that like is 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 potentially like our mark, like the person we know we're gonna we know we're gonna come and like hit up for money, but we haven't gotten there yet. And Stev, nice. Stev, a uh, bug starts with being like, Stev, this is just the way it works. I mean, you can like, we could wait for them to do something illegal, or we could just break a window and said they, you know, have property damage that they need to pay for, right? That's just how you do it. 
I, I know this is how it's done. Um, let's let's just get to it. Um, and I think uh, as as you're arguing from a few steps behind you, like up against the wall, uh, you hear just like, "I never thought I'd I'd see your code out here, Steph. How how has it been doing?" Needle twirling the, his dagger in his hand, uh, <laughs> as blue coats do. Right? Yeah. Truncheon, pistol, and dagger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Stev sort of like brushes off the the kind of the dust from uh, her actual coat uh, needle. Uh, coat's not too salty. We're we're. Oh we're man, getting... your your coat needs to wash bad, Stev. Your coat stinks. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's in need of a wash badly. Hush, yeah, my... bug, hush, bug, hush. I. Uh, my coat's squeaky clean. I'm used to going into the tower and seeing that crusty old white coat of yours, right? And just feeling sick. I'm glad to see you out here. You know, um, we got to do what we got to do. Um, and and I'll, I'll get it done. You know, if, if paperwork isn't, isn't making what it, what it used to, then um, yeah, we'll get her done. I'll let you tend to your coat. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. That's it. I think they, they cross paths and head towards the warehouse to the, to the yep. sad factory worker ahead. Yeah. I love it. All right. And that's our first word. And uh, I redrew a card from the H2 deck to give us our next, uh, to replenish my card. Oh, great. Uh, go on to the next turn. Excellent. Excellent. I have a, a card that is just screaming to be used. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I would like to go next if that's okay. Yeah. Awesome. Please do. Uh, it's work. The work we must do and the toll it takes. And I think absolutely we need something to talk about all of this extra money that we're trying to make um, to pay off to, to pay off Strangford. So you're tying this to the debt? Yeah, Perfect. I'm tying it to the debt. The, so so the, the work we must, you know, is, is um, again, the extortion, but specifically because of the, the, um, the crushing debt that we're in. Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying to think of a good other term. So, for so this is like paying off the debt. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. So if so so if I were to ask you like, uh, you know what, you know what's got you down, you would say, oh, it's it's just this, it's just X. You know, I, I can't take it anymore. Or it's it's too hard. Or right. I don't know if we're gonna hit it, make it in time. So yeah, yeah. So, uh, so the code. So again, for like looking for something that's mundane, it could be like, you know, troubles with at, at home, like my, the wife or the husband or whatnot, or like, or um, uh, like I got paperwork that's like my ward boss is driving, like my the 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 ward boss is chewing my ass out or something like that. Like somebody you would owe something mm -hmm. to that is not Strangford, but that would that would. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another yeah. Episode. Oh, just another idea too that, that occurred to me um, was that you could imagine like if we, since it is effectively about Strangford, but we're trying to hide it, like maybe some weird like bastardization of the name to the point where like we may be able to even use it in phrases that are like, you know, I'm just going about my day. Like this is really like getting me down. I got a case of the Mondays, but uh, based on- <laughs> Got a case of the strang, strang days. days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that. What if it was like strange? Like strang is it's close. Strange around here today. Because <laughs> there's a lot Forging. of strange forces in Duskfall, right? There's ghosts. There's yeah, yeah. I, I, I would say we should really tie it into the setting. Um, and it, you know, if we're talking about the work we do and as blue coats, there, I, I, I think tying it into uh, spirits in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so then it could be. Um, so the. Yeah, we absolutely could say. Uh, I mean, like some some, you know, words that are tied around ghosts or you know, ghost spirit, specter, um, uh, 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 spectral plasm, plasm. Um, those are all uh, devils. Devils is like the in within. Within the setting, devil is like the generic term for anything supernatural. So that can be that could be a demon, that could be a a, a ghost, that could be a vampire. Um, the spirit wardens who we work with, they're kind of they're kind of our bosses. They're the ones who like hunt down all the supernatural shit. They 
they're anonymous. We don't know who they are, but like they're ostensibly in charge of us. Like they were originally called Devil Hunters, and like now they've matured and they're called the Spirit Wardens. But what about what about strange devils? Mm. Like if if that was like in in reference to you know the shit I'm dealing with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of strange devils over me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that makes awesome. Or just there's you know there's just a uh, too many strange devils. Yeah. Does specifically refer to just the crushing debt or is it a more generic term meaning like uh what's it's, English? it's it's referring i think it's referring specifically to um the you know this shit that we're in right now yes so so it's referring to to strangford and it's referring to the um the general extortion and skimming that we're doing mm -hmm. yeah and so it would be like paying down the strange devils or fighting strange devils or like what is that the word or yeah yeah so it would be so it's it's a it's a noun yeah yeah so if we're you talking know, about fighting group. fighting strange devils we're talking about fighting devils, yeah yeah we're talking about you know, working or... off that debt yeah yeah um, all right cool uh i'll you want to fix yeah. it on you want to do it on the on the sheet the drawing yeah i'll do that awesome and I think I, I, I like the idea of um, also kind of then breaking it down to if we do need to talk about something referring to Strangford, we could say that it's strange. Yeah, it's sort of a shortening of. Nice. I like it. Uh, so next thing we do is have a scene where it gets used. And... Kate, tell me if I'm I'm wrong. The um, the the importance of the scene is that the majority of the characters use the phrase, like that it's used multi more than once. Um, I think it's more that each character uh, expresses their own relationship to it, mm -hmm. um, in whatever way that that makes sense. So, like, if it, like, you know, if we're you know talking about some like curse term uh, or something like that, it may not make sense for some character to use it, but then have it be like explicitly omitted. Um, is something that you can cool. do with it. So just yeah. make sure Conspicuously that not use it. demonstrated your relationship uh, with it. Uh, Vilketh suggested strangled, uh, which I also kind of like, but I think I think yeah, we're good um, on strange devils. Mm -hmm. Cool. Feel, feeling strange. strangled, yeah. So who who else has caused the most pain by our extortion? It, it sounds like... Um, I think it was totally needle that like... It sounds like... I think this is like the the fight with the sailors has got to have been Needle's work, like that's okay. that's my theory. What am I wrong? Probably. Probably. I mean, it 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 it. it I can it definitely see it haze at this point. Yeah. <laughs> People tell me, and I believe them because it sounds like something I would do. <laughs> <laughs> so who am I to argue? Yeah. So, because uh, I'm seeing one of you guys uh, having gotten to. Uh, a bit of a brawl, and Vale is uh, giving some, doing some stitches, mm. and we're ta we're going to be talking about uh, the the toll that this work takes. So I'm wondering right now, of of the three of you, who else is like really being feeling beat down by this? I don't know. I, that, I'm sure that feels like needle either needle or stab. Yep. Okay. Either of us, I Let's, think, are good choices. Yeah. It seems like Stev yeah. emotionally and Needle possibly physically. <laughs> you know? I, I can imagine the physical side with Stev. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's... let's or or um, Needle, I actually mean. Yeah. Let's, let's go with... Uh, um, I'm trying to remember who's who now because we didn't attach player names to all the characters. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's on another sheet. Yeah, it's on another sheet. I can... Uh, on the card. Yeah, I don't have it. Uh, if you go to... Yeah, I'll go ahead and put it on the cards. It's not as pretty as it could be, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah, let's um, let's have the scene then between Vale and, uh, and Needle. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. And uh, you know, Vale is is stitching up a, a gash on your on your temple, and tisking, of... and he's 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 pissed off uh, about the whole thing. 
uh, you know, he's so, so and he's kind of going on that. He's like, I have other shit to deal with right now. I don't need you coming in here uh, with more fresh bruises. Look, Vale, there's a lot we got to bring in and I'm doing the best that I can. I mean, yeah, maybe I get into a few more fights than I need to, but I'm doing a lot to, to take care of some of these strange devils we got going around here, right? I... I, I get that, and I and I get that there's a lot, and I get that it's hard, but I can't keep spending all of my supplies on you. Look, Vale, I'm cleaning my coat every day, right? Like, I don't know how to get it any cleaner by this point. If you don't want to be stitching me up, you got to be stitching someone else up. You want Stev in this chair instead? No, God, no. Yeah, no. I didn't think so. There's what? just, mm -hmm. there, there's there got to be a better way to to fight these devils than, than just cracking skulls. Cracking skulls have been working pretty good so far, and I think the blue coats are pretty good at it. We got a lot of experience, so. It's only so many skulls in Duskfall. Yeah, but there's still a lot of them intact. <laughs> Not around here. Like gestures to some other like poor blue coat who's been like beaten to a pole. Yeah, just, nice. <laughs> just like dying and just like a prop in this conversation. Yeah, now. just just sitting there. <laughs> like exhibit A, this dead dude. Yeah, right. right. He went yeah. up against the blood letters. That's bad news. Yeah. I mean he's pretty much just like on a nod from like all the dope that I you know, <laughs> that he's on right now to deal with the pain and we're just waiting for him to die. So all right, well, let me know if you find something, Vale, but until that day, I'll be out there fighting devils my way. We need, we need something bigger. Bigger. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to keep doing this, these small little fights every day. I'll keep my eye out, Vale. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Awesome. I like Love that. Love it. <laughs> uh, that leads me to a, one of my words that I'm, oh, cool. I'm excited about, it, unless, Kate, you're, you're, you're itching yeah, to go. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Because what you just said was like, we need to do something bigger, which makes me think we need to do, uh, we need to do a score. Um, so m one of my words is unit of time, and, uh, and the action as a plan is made. And I want the unit. I want to describe the unit of time, which is the pay cycle under which we have to pay Strangford off. So it's like every, or just just like the pay up cycle. It doesn't even have to specifically be tied to, to, uh, to uh, Strangford, but something that is, um, um, uh, that that has to do with when its money is due. Although I realize that if I do that. I'm tying another word to their crippling debt. Uh, that's fine. But that's okay. Uh, I, I don't believe in the blue coats anyway, so I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay not tying a word to them. So, um, yeah, so I think it's like, you know, there's this expectation that every so often, and I don't know what that so often is, I don't know that we need to set it, but every so often that, that we are making payments and that that's what we have to... Like make sure we've got up, we've made up enough for our next our next payoff. Like at every at every payoff, we better have enough. Um, so how do we make the payments? Do we have like a dead drop somewhere, or is it more obvious? <laughs> just go Here's on. your envelope, sir. I I'll just mail it to you. I, I mean, it could, like who's gonna ask Lord Strangford for or, or a bunch week? of blue coats? Right. I think we totally yeah. could like walk up to the docks, go to his foreman or somebody that you know somebody works for him and just hand over the money maybe we're yeah. clandestine about it but i think it's just like a direct yeah mm -hmm. yeah so maybe the there first like, like, ominous window times. somewhere um, yeah so so maybe maybe that's maybe that's it we name it after the drop it's like um we name it like like dock day or um or uh, ship day or, or you know something that has to do with mm -hmm. like where we're going and I kind of like um, if this is uh, becoming like what we refer to paying Lord Strangford off 
with. Like, yeah, I could see this like unit of time also being adopted by us into like when businesses have to pay us off too, mm -hmm. right? Like, yep. This, mm. this is what we start using for generic paydays. Like when someone's got to pay. Yep. It started from our Stringford like stuff. But yeah. 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 And I'd I'd like just to have it be. I don't know. Hopefully, it's not too obvious, but something that is that is tied to the docs or the foreman or or to uh, mm -hmm. the, the 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 person that we're actually delivering the payment to. Do we think there's an uh, there's like a regular person like there's a, an actual maybe even NPC that uh, we are delivering this to or yeah. is it just yeah. no I think that's good because we could we could name it after them um, yeah totally and and just have that be um, our blanket unit of time the yeah, yeah I I I definitely was seeing something like doc fees or something like that, but what you're really looking for is the day, right? Right. It's the, it's yeah, the... so we're, we're not so much looking for a unit of time as like a specific time of day. Well, or a specific, like, presumably we don't have to make a payoff every single day. So what I was thinking of unit yeah. of time is like, let's say we call it doc fees. Let's just say like doc fees are coming up or like mm -hmm. when are doc fees due? Well, no, because that wouldn't be a unit of time. That would just be the payoff. So yeah, I think, yeah. um, mm -hmm. They gotta make it a little bit more timely. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, okay. So there's a bunch of hours in. There's a bunch oh, of yeah, hours in the are. setting. We could steal one of those or riff off of that. Let me see if I can pull oh, it up. That would be good because again, we're we're taking very normal sounding uh, terms and attaching our own meanings. Yeah. I'm. Are you searching the PDF? I'm searching the PDF. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it in a second. Um, all right. This is this is good radio right here. Uh, searching the PDF. Searching, searching, searching the PDF. Yep, totally know what page it's on. Do 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 do. Uh, I didn't know. the index. Words. It's in like days of the week. It's it's also list. It's in the. Months, of, I think it's mentioned in the months calendar. So yeah, I yeah, no, I think I think you're right. I'm like literally trying to visualize the page. <laughs> uh, oh wait, is six months is Mendar Calavet Suran? Yeah, yeah, Calibre. yeah. What, Those are the months. What page is it? Should be close to that. Uh, Two forty-five is that weather calendar and seasons. Huh. No, it's different because it's about the time. It's on a different page. Oh, there it is. Lights and darkness. I, sw I skimmed Yay. right past it. Page 240. Okay. So days are divided into two parts marked by weak lights at dawn and twilight. 12 hours after days are numbered. First hour, second hour, third hour. 12 hours after twilight are usually named according to local custom, which varies from city to city. So the names, the, the names of the hours are honor, song, silver, thread, flame, Pearls, silk, wine, ash, coal, chains, and smoke. Um, not ominous at all. Yeah, not <laughs> uh, uh, not ominous at all. I kind of like chains. And presumably, they they go they go in that order of, of numerical I, hours. I assume so. As yeah. listed, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You I like got, chains. I like chains. It's the eleventh hour, which is an acronym for you know getting something done in the last minute. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So, like, because we oh will always God. will always pay at the last possible moment we can pay, right? Like, Absolutely, we never God. pay. Does not know, <laughs> right? We're and not out and chains just sounds like you know we're blue coats. We have manacles and chains. We put people in chains. We're probably going to be in chains. Well, if we're using the unit of time, if we are saying, uh, I, I mean, I think that this is kind of just like directly lifting from the book but if we are saying like it's almost chains uh then we are just saying like hey it's almost 11 o'clock and 11 o'clock means we gotta go make a drop right it just means something that... else. yeah yeah it's just for yeah, us we... it has chains has a very specific meaning and and i think the way that it would be built into the cant is that we would use chain uh in part of a different part of speech so it wouldn't sound like 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 Barney rubble means trouble. I mean, like I need to get my manacle and chains, which would mean it's almost time for payday. Um, where we we use it in a in a way that isn't part of the speech. So it's it's a normal word, but we're using it in a different context. 
so mm-hmm. so it doesn't Could sound like, like it's mi- referring to time okay does that could you imagine missing your chain um and would that mean like missing a drop or would that uh or are you imagining it more as like a you know it'll be it's a while until our next chain uh i i i like the first one i like the idea of like you treat it like it's an object but what you yeah. really mean is that it's a time you, you yeah you know it's confusing i know okay but but the no idea- i get it i get it and yeah. we probably slip up and use it the other way if like we desperately need to communicate this thing that we're used to hiding right uh, right but uh, yeah the goal is to casually drip in chains into conversation as a reference right as that. basically meaning it's about time for pay it's about time for us to pay or or mm-hmm. or if we can somehow allude to the fact that i don't need my chain then maybe it isn't about time for us to pay but i think that's what it is perfect um, okay cool so we're kind of taking we're taking a meeting off of another meeting i like this a lot that's cool yeah mm-hmm. Payday. Yep. All right, it's got it. Cool. I like it. Um, so I want a scene with um, I want a scene with I want a scene where we're where we're going to pay, like, like mm-hmm. make make this make this pretty real, um. And ooh ooh ooh, Pat Rowdy said chains rattling. I like that as well. Oh, mm. oh yeah, nice. this is the best thing about playing on on online is you don't have to be smart. The chat does it for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, tied. And so to be clear, we're so, so so to be clear, we're we're using it in conversation, not relative to time, even though it is a term that is used to refer to the hour. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to write it all down. Yay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, Ultimately, the meeting is referring to. No, time, it's good. But we drop it into. Play. Yeah. Have... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. That's well, not hard to write down at all. No. <laughs> this, this isn't a confusing it's fine. part of. I'll make it work. Plain spoken. Totally plain spoken. I'll, I'll have it. It'll. It'll all make sense by by Thursday. Nice. Cool. So I want to see. Uh, I want to be there because I like being there, and I want to see. Uh, oh, I haven't been with. Um, it's going to be um, Bug and um, uh, and Brendan uh, doing a delivery, doing a payoff. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we're we've been we've been set. And again, I don't know how how Brandon's been pulled out of the watchtower, but one way Brayden. or the other, Brayden. Sorry, it's Brayden. Sorry, I don't know how Brayden's been pulled out, but mm-hmm. um, but I think it's the two of us going and sure. So it's it's dark. <laughs> it's impossible to tell exactly what time it is, but it's dark out. It's nighttime, and um, and there's a and you can see this like in the from the electric lights on the docks. You can still see that there's a few people moving things around. There's never no activity, but it's definitely a quiet time. And there's like this warm glow coming out of a few pubs on the street that we're passing by. And there's the sounds of revelry and whatnot. It's clearly like the hour of time for people to, um, um, the, the clearly like the hour of time for people to get off work and relax for the most part. And we're walking towards, mm-hmm. we're walking towards, towards the dock. Um, and um and uh bug sorry syrup my own character i forgot my own character's name i'm i'm good at this i know how to play role playing games <laughs> um and bug looks and says do you need a tent card <laughs> I, I do i need a tent card well we have our little four up but i didn't know our character's name so i didn't i didn't yeah, put it on there okay. but bug looks to brayden and um and says mm-hmm. uh i nearly i i nearly dropped my chain in the mud um you what yeah it it, it almost slipped like i thought it was gonna i thought uh i was gonna have to go fishing in the mud for it um and he kind of looks you almost like, lost it you 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 i it's just when we because and he's just fuming. Yeah. No, no. I got it. I got it. I got it. Chain's fine. Well, thank fuck for that. I mean, it's a little bloody. I mean, muddy. It's a little... <laughs> My chain's... 
it's fine. It'll work. It'll, it'll, and, and clearly, like, but she hasn't, she hasn't, uh, in, totally internalized this one either. So, um, she's, yeah. bug, bug is covering for Sean right now. Um, and, and, uh, and she's like, it'll, it'll hold my watch just fine. Um, it still it works. And, and, All right. and she kind of like references to her, to her blue, under her blue coat. Um, as mm-hmm. though, as, as though there's something there. Um, doing well, your job, relying on everyone else to do f- their job. Found it in time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah. I got my chain. No problem. Yeah. Well, try try not to lose it again anytime soon. Uh, your coat's looking a little crusty there. And she and she looks like like no like no I've been doing my job and I think that like it's that like scared look of I haven't been doing my job that, that we cut on. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. Um, awesome. I think I am up next. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. I am very tempted by uh, this card, bad omen. I feel like there mm-hmm. there are a lot of bad omens. <laughs> Probably um, so many bad omens. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'm of two minds. Um, I am. I, I really want to focus a little bit more on uh, on the blue coat aspect of what defines us. But I'm also um, uh, the, our crushing debt and and Lord Strangford. And he's, he's a fucking jerk. Um, but uh, and there's a lot of interesting things to play with there, especially when it comes to bad omens. But I'm I'm imagining um, the connection uh, if we end up going with blue coats is one where like we are like things are getting more desperate um, for us, and I'm imagining that uh, we potentially have um, like barely made a few of um, a few of our drops, like a few of, like there's been chains that have been missed. We have missing links mm-hmm. in the chain, um, Ooh, and I like uh, that. Uh, and we're like forced into more desperate circumstances and having to turn to like other like more regular ways of of actually getting coin. And some of this is drawing down deeper into the blue coat coffers. Um, and there's been there's been some notice of this, uh, especially by our uh, station. Um, our station leader. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like that there was sort of a, an explicit warning that we were given, um, it, maybe in a, in a subtle way, uh, either like the coffers were removed or there was like something very like uh, conspicuous that was put in the place of uh, like just in our tower itself that became sort of a symbol of this bad omen. The bad omen meaning that like we are we're being discovered um or we're at risk of being discovered by um mm-hmm. by leadership for digging too deep into these coffers nice i had this mm-hmm. image of of like drinking somebody's vodka and refilling the bottle with water um or or nice. you know indiana jones like replacing the idol with a sack of sand that like exactly it's like like whatever we name this after is the thing that we like put in the coffers instead like to kind of try and oh, cover awesome. up for ourselves like that we have <laughs> you know that we have and this is like the 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 thing that we actually did once but also has kind of become like a feeling of foreboding or like something that referred to things in the future as well yeah or- well, because we did it once, and I think it's one of those things where, like, either it didn't work, or it only seemed like it was barely going to work, or we think any minute it could still come back at us. Like, maybe we did steal from the coffers, and they haven't found out yet. But, mm-hmm. but I think that there was something that was maybe like changed the next day um, that we have like deeply read into as a, a symbol of um, our cover being blown um, mm. or like rousing suspicion, and so- now become the stand-in for bad omen. What if we said something like, like, uh, there's water in the whiskey and that means things are not looking good. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, so it, it means a bad omen in general and it's kind of referring to that time where we, where <laughs> when it was like, you were refilling it too fast that people weren't having enough to notice it, the chain, you know, like, yeah. Oh, interesting. Or like, uh, 
maybe something about the commander drinking water or yeah that's kind of what i'm thinking okay okay i'm referring this but i can totally imagine um working in the commander there um Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I think like, yeah, them drinking water might be like something that's foreboding of things to come. If they have a name or something, it can just be like, you know, like chef's drinking water tonight. Right, like, right, right. Oh, and then yeah. that's right. too, because then like, if we end up saying that, like maybe like, n- normally uh, our, our commander is like, you're gonna be pushing bas- back whiskey every night, right? Because that is just how these blue coat streets operate, but yeah. like, if you have to pull it in either because like we've been skimming too much in resources or they're trying to like uh take a closer look at at what actually is going on in this watchtower then he's drinking water right instead of whiskey so okay so so him him drinking water means he's figuring it out he's getting wise to it yeah or or he's exposed to the things that like like he's like He's drinking water could mean like he's digging in, you know, even if he hasn't figured it out, it's, it's close. Yeah. Yeah. If he were paying attention to it, he might notice. I like that. Cool. Mm -hmm. I realize I made a complete mistake on my, uh, my last action is that I was supposed to do something around a plan is made. And I was going to say like, we should do a big score in response to Karen's word, but that's okay. Cause it sounds like maybe we're going to do a big score (laughs) in response as part of this bad omen. So I'm, I'm cool with that. So whoops, (laughs) but we're all good. It's all good. We're all good. Cool. Just to so um our uh our watch commander. Um we could just say like uh the watchman's drinking water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If we're good with that. Yep. Watchman's drinking water. <laughs> what a terrible omen. <laughs> Uh, no. I like it. Uh, I, uh, I mean, the other thing is, it could evolve out of our actual watchman who maybe doesn't drink whiskey all the time. Like maybe he's a sober sort of, or they, or she, or they are sort of sort of person that like. Uh, so, it's, and I say that because that would make it easier to be innocuous, right? Like if that was a normal thing, like everyone else is drinking whiskey, um, and and our watch commander is sort of a more sober. Folk? I don't know. I, I think we can play with it. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if I'm kind of uh, going back in time with this particular story, I've kind of done this backwards, but like I'm imagining that like one day, like as we have gotten more and more cavalier in terms of uh, actually taking from our own coffers, mm-hmm. uh, when we just like walk into uh, our like watchman's headquarters at some point where we confront them we notice that like uh the whiskey bottle is gone and uh and there actually is some some water there um and that that has like that was an alerted alerting moment to us that we needed to to like keep keep on watch Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep i i I like that we need to stay on watch from the watchman yes a whole, a whole different Who meaning watches of, the watchmen yes. we do <laughs> so that we don't <laughs> so make sure they're not watching us <laughs> just gotta uh, frame a scene yep, yep um yeah so to frame a scene um let me go back to our list of folks here okay cool um so uh the um the prompt for the scene on bad omen is um a bad on- omen only some acknowledge <clears throat> um so what I can imagine here is um, I'm imagining that there is kind of growing tension just among the group, both in terms of like, uh, oops, oh, um, our need uh, to um, to pay uh, to pay when due, um, and so to actually go and like more efficiently extort from folks, but then to not um, attract even more attention from the watchmen. And we feel like that there is a sort of growing uh, interest in what our day to day like doings are, and we um, uh, and we kind of need to to come up with with some plan to to counter this. Mm-hmm. Um, I like it. I think, um, do you, do you imagine that plan is in the form of making a big, um, making a big, like digging deep out of the coffers, like one time where we feel like we can get away with it? Or do you think it's 
that we've been doing that already and now we're trying to look for something that's outside like it's not extortion and it's not stealing from our own coffers it's like we need to, we need to come up with a, yet another thing to just like stay one step ahead i i almost kind of like the idea that one of us is is um like it maybe this may may make sense um for uh needle or actually it may even make sense um coming from um coming from bug really suggesting mm -hmm. turn to the coffers as a way of making payment for uh for what is our upcoming chain right and like for what's our upcoming like payday and we um uh and that this is risky like there's already inherent risk we already have uh, i guess raised suspicion here but like the the normal extortion is just not is not cutting it. Yeah. So one thing to think about too, though, is that uh, I think it's implied that there's some evidence about Lord Strangford mm -hmm. that, that is acquired, right? Um, so we could make a plan to try to get that in some way, which might involve like, maybe we bring in like one of his sailors and like, uh, I don't know, like Vale does some shady shit sure. to this like, well, sailor. Right? Or, like, or it's that one of the inspectors has the evidence and we could steal it. Um, and uh we know where like the evidence locker is and uh that that you know that it's it's more internal strife because then we have leverage over over strangford mm -hmm. if we had if we had this thing i like that again i like the idea of going after that rather than just money because it's like up in our game and also up cool. in the cool awesome i'm totally good with that let's do that and um if you feel like it is true to bug um, then I would want Bug to be there, um, if that sounds good to you, Sean. Totally. Um, she, she's she's very much in favor of doing things unorthodoxly, and she doesn't like love beating people up per se. She just wants to 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 pay their debt. So if if it's breaking rules within Blue Coat, she's fine with that. Cool. Um, then I, I feel like Bug being there is good, um, and. Um, Needle, I feel like that you would be, uh, you would absolutely be a part of this, just given that you factored so prominently in like actually extorting what we need from from day to day. Mm -hmm. I can believe that. I can believe that like uh, all this like the chains are being to weigh down everyone, right? Like this is uh, taking a big cut out of uh, any anything that Needle's been able to get. So yeah, mm -hmm. a creative way of dealing with it, especially after Vale's kind of admonition of that i think is very convincing you can only clean your coat so many times man <laughs> it's gonna burn it out <laughs> yeah i think i think uh i think chain coming to bug because uh sorry sorry i think uh needle <laughs> coming to bug because the chains are wearing him down it sounds like a good sounds like a good opening to me honestly right mm -hmm. uh, and i can imagine this just happening like within our dock dock nest uh our dock yeah, tower sure sure um, so it's like uh evening um uh, probably after a long day um and like we're gonna need to come to come to terms with a score really quickly in order to to meet um what what we have to pay um yeah. otherwise mm -hmm. you know, hell is gonna rain down um and i think the the two of you are probably like shooting back your own glasses of whiskey uh and yeah. trying to figure out how to yeah. How to continue uh, with this. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think Needle, like, yeah, it's like a nightly and we're drinking or something. And uh, Needle is just visibly, like, really, really nervous, I think. Like, looking down, avoiding eye contact, really just trying to figure out, like, how he's going to get the next score, given how much he's been hitting yeah. everyone. Yeah. And, and Bug is, she's pretty lighthearted and she's, and, and she's, um, usually up eight and she's like needle you uh devil some strange devils got you down what's wrong your coat looks like, clean yeah and in actuality it's filthy yeah right right, right. So, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah like, totally right that yeah, that's it she totally says that like looking right at it i i i don't know how many more times i can clean it like i had to go into veil again last week because i i hit the leaky bucket every night for for like a week right oh man and those light those lamp lights don't like it when you clean your coat uh in their tavern it's not that many times but 
but he's drinking water. Like we know that this is coming down on us soon. Right. Like, I don't know. My mm-hmm. chains are at my side and I don't know what to do about all that water he's drinking. Nah, nah. Watch commander. He's, nah, he's, I don't think he touches that stuff. I don't think he touches water. I think he's, I think he's, I think he's lost in the, lost in the, in the whiskey, man. I tell you what, I tell you what, I heard, I heard, I heard commander talking about some, some evidence they found some, the inspectors and, and what has, what kind of evidence? Something that would help us fight a pretty strange devil. Some it's pretty like, strange evidence. Huh? Some pretty strange evidence. Yeah. Where are they keeping this strange evidence? Well, what I heard was the inspectors uh, were trying to find a place, and our good old watch commander said he'd hold it personally in his in his coffers. Really? Yeah. Well, if that's true, then he can drink all the water he wants. And could do anything to us. I don't think we have anything to worry about, Needle. I think we're gonna be. I think we're gonna do just dandy on our next. I think. Uh, I think we're gonna have a nice, solid, uh, solid gold chain coming up pretty soon. Gold chains all around, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she right. like holds out her like pocket watch. That's like. Yeah. Like, you're just... never quite sure if Bug is actually using the cant or not. <laughs> I like that. No. Every single time it's like, no, no, I, I think she just doesn't know what it means. <laughs> no, I think she does. Like, listen, we talked about this, but I told you I can't write it down. Yeah. <laughs> we should yeah. we should definitely include Gold Chain in there as having a new meeting now. It's like... A really good payoff? Yeah, yeah. a really good payoff. Yep. Okay. Right. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. I, so I think I, our eyes kind of look furtively towards like the like what's clearly you know the commander's like office, and everyone else in the everyone else is in the in the room that's like kicking back with us. The other blue coats they're like nodding off, not paying attention. And I think it just the scene kind of ends as we like both get up, like we're gonna go do this now. Like it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Like go. forget forget waiting. Like <laughs> shit. <laughs> Perfect. I think awesome. that sounds great. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, well, that's perfect because we finished an age and it's about time to take a break. Yay! So let's go Yay! ahead and uh, let's, let's take a break on hour two and, uh, and we'll be back in, in five. <laughs>